I have the pleasure of chatting with Benny Greenberg, promotional item guru. If you don't know him, I'm sure you've probably had some of the products he's created in your hands at one time or another. Welcome to the show, Benny. Thanks, Danny. It's great to be here. Well, it is great to have you on. You have been a part of the promotional item position here in Frederick for a long time. How long have you been in business? Uh, this is our 11th year. We had the fun party celebration thing last year of celebrating 10 years, and now we're rolling into 11. That's awesome. That's pretty good, a decade in business. You must enjoy what you're doing. Well, yeah, that's, it's kind of hard to do things on your own if you don't enjoy it. You just keep popping from one to the other. This is a lot of fun. There's a lot of creative that's built into it. Yeah. Um, so that's the fun part. And what were you doing uh, before you started the promotional company? Well, I was kind of doing the same thing. My background goes all the way back to um, doing similar product for the NFL, the NBA, the MLB, the NHL, Disney, and stuff like that. So that's where I started. Um, and then I, I did that. I lived in both New York. I best you cannot tell from the accent. <laughs> um, but um, I moved to Maryland with a similar position in place for AOL Time Warner. Ah. I, moved to Maryland, I moved to Maryland on a Friday and the position disappeared on a Monday. Oh, no. So I did a little consulting for probably six months. And then I'm like saying to myself, why am I doing this? I'm just launching my own in uh, 11, I think 11, 13 of 13 uh, BKG Media and Promotions was born. That is phenomenal and good for you because, you know, I think a lot of times people hesitate to start on their own for, you know, I think a lot of us are like, oh, you have to work for somebody else and that's going to be the most stable thing. But obviously you're a testament to if you know what you're doing, you can do it for a long time. Yeah, either that or you're lucky, you pray a lot, you know, <laughs> it's a combination of a lot of things. It's kind yeah. of reputation for us, really. I mean, most of our client base and, and business is word of mouth and referrals at this point. There is, you know, we are really, really busy and continually on word of mouth and, and referral business. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's always great. It means obviously you're doing a good job. So um, let's explain to people watching in case they're not 100% aware uh, what what you do and um, do you have anything close by to show them? I'm sure there are things within range, but basically we do marketing, but we do marketing through the use of branded products. So the, the concept for what we do is we don't just um, answer your phone call or your inquiry with, yes, we can give you chip clips. We try to brand your success through the actual event you're doing. So we did um, a whole bunch of uh, Frederick Rescue Mission uh, kid-based events for their summer enrichment program. So items were designed more for kids in mind. Mm -hmm. You know, things like, where's my arm? Yeah, things there, there like you are. This. You know, so ah. they're squeezy, fun things, but the Frederick Rescue Mission's logo was there. But yeah. In, in a short, because that was already pretty long, but in, in a short statement, basically, if you want your logo or your word mark or your branding on anything, we can do it. From those giant canopy tents you see at the end of streets events mm -hmm. to little tiny business cards and fidget spinners. So basically anything. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. What is the hot item right now? Is there something that is uh, everybody's going crazy for? Well, there's a, there's a couple. Remember a couple of years ago, the big items were like fidget spinners? Yes. So everything has kind of moved from that and has grown into new products. So the whole entire new super popular range is called sensory products. So okay. it's kind of things like, remember the old Rubik's Cube? But this is called an infinity cube. Yeah. You oh. basically keep folding and bending and turning like forever. So that's your logo cool. Get, you know, so they, they make a lot of these. 
sensory stickers where they have this really cool textured finish. You were at the nonprofit event, right, last week? I wasn't there, no. Oh, I thought you were at the NFP Summit, weren't you? No, no, I saw you at uh, Frederick Lifestyle, I think it was. Lifestyle. Yeah. So like at that summit, everybody wanted, there's something like this, there's something called a rope toy and something called sensory sticker. I think we gave away three, four hundred of each. I mean, everybody wanted them and the orders came in this week for all that stuff because it's kind of like, a, you know, mental illness is an issue. And yeah. it's kind of a really great way to calm the nerves and the anxiety and the stress without spending a whole lot of money. Oh, I love it. I love it. What is the, do you have kind of like a most interesting uh, order that you've done or maybe a company you've worked with? Oh, we have a couple of interesting orders. First of all, I think our biggest claim to fame right now is being the promo product, and I'll use your guru word, to the nonprofit world, not only here in Frederick, where I think we deal with like 75 of them, but throughout the state. I think my most interesting order was we received an inquiry from the actual lottery, which is an actual company in Georgia. And they wanted to design a product for the Washington Capitals 50, 25th anniversary of when they were the Wizards and they played in um, they played that anniversary game in China. So mm. we made 25 or 30 of these really cool laser cut basketball with the logo of the Wizards, the Capitals, and the Chinese national team. And they were actually handed to the president the um all the team players so it's really kind of a cool claim to fame yeah that is pretty cool yeah that's great um so if there is a company watching and they are you know interested in getting well let let me just say because a lot of times people have no idea what they want so how does it work when they contact you you are correct and a lot of people do not know what they want um we try to help them like we like i was speaking earlier is to try to figure out what the end to the meetings is so if you're doing the home show event then we will try to target your marketing and your product related to both your company and the event you're working on we're not just going to toss you random items that you need so a simple phone call and um, one of us here will um, get you what it is you need to help um, drive traffic to your site, drive traffic to your booth, increase sales. Uh, we do a ton of fundraising products. So we kind of take the brunt of the work. There's no charge for the research. So you kind of give us what you have in mind. We'll run with the research and get you more creative more retail thought branded items than just the standard pens, business cards, and chip clips. Oh yeah. Yeah. I love that. Uh, in the last 10 years, what's been the biggest challenge for you guys? Oh, it's a combination. Do we, do any of us remember COVID? <laughs> so <laughs> no challenge there, there. The cool thing about ch- uh, COVID, if there is a cool thing, is kind of a positive and a negative. Obviously, COVID was a big negative all the way around, but what it allowed us to do is tremendously increase our reach and give back programs. Ah. We were basically turned into the PPE supplier for the state of Maryland during that time. We were donating and creating and supplying uh, PPE products everywhere. So it was kind of a challenge and a combination between a whole lot of fun. I don't think I slept between March 28th and June 5th. Wow. Yeah. It was was basically 18, 19 hour days during that time. But all those masks that you were getting for free in Frederick City, we were supplying Frederick with so this way they can help out. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing, actually. And look, I think trying to find a positive spin is a good thing because otherwise I think a lot of us would have PTSD about uh, that time. And 
Yeah, yeah. I worked all the way through as well, so I totally understand. And uh, yeah, I know I was watching videos of everybody baking bread and organizing their closets and learning a new skill. And there, there we were, right? And that's where this uh, medium was born that we're speaking on now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, the, that is actually another positive that came out of it is giving an opportunity for people to, if they wanted to continue to telework or just better platforms for that, for sure. Um, if there was one thing you wanted people of Frederick to know about BKG, what would it be? Well, I think the one thing is BKG's founding format in its business plan was that we will always give back. So we have minimum numbers each year off of the profit that we give back to, whether we give it back in dollars or we give it back in product. Um, Habitat for Humanity, both Washington County and Frederick County, the rescue mission, um, the ranch. I mean, we probably, like I said, we donate a minimum of 10% of our gross profit um, to those in need throughout Frederick. That is awesome, Benny, really. I mean, I think, you know, right in line with one of the reasons I started this show is to highlight, give, you know, a platform for those organizations that sometimes don't get the recognition that they deserve or, you know, letting people know about them. That's really great that you, that's part of your mission. That's part of the business. It's not just, hey, when I, when things feel good, then I'm going to donate. That's really nice. Yeah, no, it's an automatic for us. It's, it was in that the founding paperwork is where it was born. Um, and we've never done less than 10%. And you know what happens because you're in the industry. We kind of set our budget for, you know, donations and stuff like that in November and December. And we have those 20 or 25 and inevitably, inevitably someone shows up in May and has an event. Um, and we need to figure out a way to do that as well. So we will yeah. always increase that during, during of course. the year. Absolutely. Can you let everybody know the easiest way to get in touch with you? Well, the easiest way is you can call 301-606-8484. And no matter where we are, that will be sent to my cell phone. You can email me at Benny at BKG Media. Dot net, or you can simply go to bkgmedia.net and search over 700,000 items. Wow. Yeah. Well, that'll be a fun day. I think I'd prefer just to give you, hey, this is what I'm trying to do and see what you come up with. We appreciate what you do for nonprofits and local businesses because as what I do, it's all part of a branding media campaign and it's going to help these businesses grow and these nonprofits maybe reach more donors. And that's the ultimate goal. So really appreciate it and love to see you still going strong in Frederick. Yeah, well, thank you. That's kind of our goal too. It's one of those things we like to stretch the nonprofits budgets as much as we can so they can do that fundraising. They can get more donors. That That's really one of the ultimate goals here. Yeah, absolutely.